Hello and welcome to the Jamf Online Training Catalog. Here you'll find dozens of videos, simulations, written documentation, and more, making this the best place for any type of learner to develop knowledge about Jamf and Apple technologies at their own pace. My name is Andy. Let's explore the Jamf Online Training Catalog to learn about all the features you'll find inside. The catalog detects your browser's configured language, but we can also use the language menu in the top right to manually choose our preferred language. All content in the Jamf Online Training Catalog can be accessed by logging in with a free Jamf ID. If you don't yet have a Jamf ID, visit account.jamf.com to get started. A rotating welcome header offers some quick recommendations for new and impactful learning content. Below that, we can browse training by product or view the full catalog. When logged in, recent items appear on the home page, so we can easily pick up where we left off. And at the bottom of the page, we can browse newly added content, or view the release notes for a full changelog. There's also a search bar at the top of the page, which can be used to find content across all products and series. More on this later. Now that we're familiar with the home page, let's explore some content. To begin, click Jamf Pro. On this page, we see tiles containing content focused specifically on Jamf Pro. At the top of the tile is the title of the series or module. Beneath the title are tags indicating the relevant product and complexity of the learning experience. At the bottom of the tile, we can see whether this content is a single module or a series containing multiple modules. Let's check out the Get Started with Jamf Pro series by clicking its tile. Here we can see the contents of the series, which is actually further organized into four smaller series. We can click to watch the welcome video or jump right into a series. Let's start by clicking Infrastructure Essentials to view all of the modules within the series. Notice how these tiles each have their own tags, an icon indicating that the tile contains a single module and an estimate of the time required to complete the module. Most series are designed to be followed from top to bottom, but we can register for any module at any time. For example, if I needed to get up and running with automated device enrollment, I could jump right into that module to learn more. Modules are also accessible from anywhere by using the search bar at the top of the page. For example, if I want to learn more about user accounts and groups within Jamf Pro, but I don't know where to find this information, in the search bar, I can enter User Accounts and Groups and click the relevant module from the results. When we visit a module for the first time, we're greeted by an overview page which contains a summary of the module, a list of components, and a button to register. To begin a module, we must register for it, so I'm clicking Register to get started. Now that I'm registered for this module, I can view the components. Most modules include a video, a review quiz, and a summary recap of the module contents. For those who learn best by doing, some modules also contain a simulation to step through the new content within a controlled environment. We could jump to any of these components to begin, or we can just click Start. First up is the video, which covers my chosen topic and demonstrates some examples. Along with the video is a summary panel containing written key points from the video. The video player has additional controls to enable captions, adjust playback speed, and jump to specific chapters. All videos include closed captions in English, and many videos include captions in additional languages. Within the Captions menu, we can even click Search Video to search for specific keywords and jump right to the point in the video when those words are mentioned. Finally, we can collapse the summary panel by clicking the arrow to the right of the video to expand the video player. Click the arrow again to view the summary details. When we're ready to continue, click the Next button in the bottom right to advance to the next component of the module. Some modules include simulations, which are great for hands-on learners who may not have full access to a Jamf Pro server. Some simulations offer multiple paths, allowing you to choose whether you'd prefer to be guided through the workflow or challenge yourself without guidance. Click Start to select your path and receive a task to complete. You'll also see some tips for navigating the simulation. 
If you find yourself getting stuck, you can click Show Me to have the simulation demonstrate the next step. After successful completion of a simulation, it can be reset and completed as many times as we'd like. When you're done, click Next in the bottom right to advance to the Module Review, where we're presented with a short quiz containing a few review questions. Select your choice for each question, then click Next Question to continue. Once complete, click Submit Quiz to view your results and receive feedback. Similar to the simulations, quizzes can be retaken as often as needed to confirm your understanding of the topic. Click Next in the bottom right to advance to the Module Summary, our last stop within this module. At the top, we can see an objective recap as a reminder of what we learned in this module. If the video contained direct steps within a Jamf product, the relevant locations to complete those steps can be found below. There are also often practice tasks which can be completed to reinforce concepts learned within the module. We recommend completing these tasks with test devices and, if available, within a separate test instance of your Jamf product to avoid possible conflict with your production environment. Finally, links to resources with additional relevant information can be found below. If at any time we'd like to revisit a portion of this module, click the Parts button in the top left corner to navigate to a different component. And if we'd like to return to the Training Catalog homepage, just click the Training Catalog button. While the Training Catalog is divided into products for ease of navigation, some may prefer to find a specific module regardless of where it's contained. Click View Full Catalog to display all available modules, then use the sidebar to search or filter just the content we're looking for by topic and other tags. For example, if we want to learn more about smart groups in Jamf Pro, we can enter Smart Groups in the search field, where we find the Device Groups module for Jamf Pro. Finally, we can view our profile by clicking the avatar in the top right corner, then choosing My Profile. Scroll down to see every series and module you've registered for previously, and click the title to continue where you left off. With over 250 modules of learning content, the Jamf Online Training Catalog has something for everyone. Thanks for coming along for the tour. We look forward to seeing you in another module.